Well, hello everybody and welcome back down into my basement garden laboratory. Today we're taking another look at some of those aloe vera plants that I've got on the table because tragically, as much fun as it is normally, I'm pulling pups off of that mother plant. It is time to transplant the one that has been sitting in that chamber pot for so long. It's just, it's grown too big for its britches. So it fell over on me the other day when I tried to move it. Today we're transplanting it, put a little more weight in the bottom of that thing, so maybe it'll just stay where it's been told to stay, alright? So kind of here on the aloe table, I got rid of uh, one of the big ones that we had. We gave it to Uncle who moved into town, and you'll probably never see. But he has offered up some garden space, so you may see his yard and garden. Um, anyway, got rid of one of the big ones. So, his wires are falling all around me. Nothing like um, not preparing for a video before you get started on it. Anyway, here is what I refer to as the chamber pot one. I think, oh, slide this one out of the way. Remember those slidey puzzles from when we were kids? Just move one piece and you move one piece and you move one piece and that's the problem with this planter right now. Look at it. It just doesn't have the weight to keep itself upright. So, I think it uh, it needs a larger planter, but I mean, my goodness, look at these leaves, right? That is ginormous. We've taken quite a few off of here, and Shox has developed quite an interesting technique for retaining the gel, and I recently found a video on how to make soap with aloe vera gel, so that might be something I'll be checking out too. But in the meantime... I think I am going to remove a lot of these lower leaves and sink this into something a little bit deeper. Kind of like the mother aloe is in here because panning back we see the sage from the aquaponics that simply did not make it. So yes, I will bash that out and toss it into the dungeon compost tote, which I suppose I should turn one of these years, and uh, we can start seeing how things look in there because yeah this is another one of those situations that I didn't think would work there's no breathability there's no holes at the bottom of this it's just a giant mug basically that we shoved this plant into and occasionally remember to water yeah nice growth though okay let's get started all right so this is incredibly dry but I can deal with that after the fact this is also incredibly dry so I'm hoping that means it should pull out nice and easy because I got camera in one hand and an aloe in the other and oh yeah good deal okay so as you can see it's a fairly shallow pot um, lighting's not great for this is it doesn't look particularly root bound or anything. I still might loosen those up a little bit before I shove it in. But at the same time, kind of fits in there quite nicely. So maybe I'll just take off those lower leaves, straighten it up, and pack her down. I don't know. I've been pretty abusive to these aloes so far, and they seem to take it rather well. Still got the problem with it wanting to lean, but we're going to remove some weight and see if that makes a difference. I might take the soil out that I have in the bottom of this too, just so I can get it a little further down into its new home. Off to the side, making a mess in the garden basement. Oh no! Okay, so. Yeah, that one's. Arr. Come on now. Pretty ready to come off not taking much I did break that there now I've seen so many videos suggesting that you can root these and they'll throw up pups but all that ever happens for me there is that's how I get rotted aloe um, I think for the rest of these I might just need two hands but yeah I'm gonna take off these bottom couple of leaves there and then I'll show you the remains of the aloe. So here you can see just how far up 
I've cut that. It's kind of looking like the old shard from the greenhouse. I've got a monstrous pile of leaves here that I will be taking upstairs to process and uh, probably putting a jar in the fridge so we've got some aloe all prepped for the summer because like I've been saying I am convinced it's going to be a glorious summer anywho I need to fill that back up with soil but again that's a two-handed thing because it takes one to hold up the plant if we stand back a little bit though we can see it's kind of leaning forward now but that will change as it you know grows towards the light and uh, straightens itself up I hope huh. if not well I'll just have a crooked plant and I'll just have to deal with that you know when I get there yeah anywho so I'm gonna top that back up now I'm sure there's probably a few people that are gonna tell me I have buried that too deep from its original soil level I'm sure there are people that are gonna tell me all kinds of things but you know what this is a no frills and even less budget channel so I do what I do, I do the best I can. I'm gonna hope that this will straighten back up with a whole lot of time and watering. Need to kind of weave it around my wires for my lights here. But, you know, I'm thinking if that's directly under the light, this will eventually work its way up. This shallow planter here that seemed to grow this so ridiculously well I think while I'm ripping at things and pulling aloe chunks off, maybe I'll just grab this little clump right here and uh, transplant away. Since I'm transplanting aloe anyway. Now I got an old kitchen knife I found down here. So I'm just going to try and shear that right off the plant. Kind of just like right along, straight down. I'm probably going to end up taking this monster leaf off too, but it's not in the best of health, so I'm not too concerned. Okay, so again, no frills, no budget. We'll be right back. Well, I'll tell you what, I didn't like the way that was cutting, so I just ripped that bottom leaf off. And I figure if that's the approach I'm going to take, might as well try and do it. Like I say, it's a little tricky, one-handed here, but... Okay, we got a little bit of a root on that one. Separate it a little bit. Give a bit of a wiggle. I don't want to do oh, I don't want to do too much damage to the uh, mother plant. Yeah, maybe I should just be doing this two-handed. But anyway, you saw me with the general idea here, pulling the one off. And that's what you'll get to see, I guess. Alright, so with that savagery finished, what I ended up with was one that has a bit of a root on it. Excuse me. And three that do not. So, I'm going to put all four of those back into the chamber pot that this thing just came from. Hoping that these will grow roots, this will keep going. And just to keep them company, I don't know, kind of thinking I might shove this monster in there too, just to see if it can throw pups. I'll have to do it properly, obviously, but I don't know, kind of curious. That would definitely be the oldest, sturdiest, roughest, toughest leaf I have ever tried for that test before, but I'm, I'm starting to think that that doesn't work, but one last try. All right, well, I guess the only thing that's left for these aloes is to get them back their sort of garden decoration, so stick the Enterprise back in there. My little Lego man there. Put the tree there beside him. Those will undoubtedly move every time I water this thing, but so there we go, it's a new look at the aloe table, once again with three plantings. We'll see what comes of these four, and I sure am excited to do something with all of this. But, the aquaponic garden is kicking in, so that is usually my time to go. 
Thank you all for joining me today, and uh, I hope you have a fantastic day ahead. Take care, everybody.